Hi, gang. Uh, welcome to another uh, episode of Views from the Bridge, um, where we have powerful conversations that impact our industry. I'm joined today by Amina Blake with Keller Williams Realty, and she's going to talk to us a bit about coaching. Thanks for joining us today, Amina. Thank you, Luca. I am so excited about this conversation. As you probably are all aware, I am very, very, very passionate about talking about coaching because it's near and dear to my heart. I have had a coach in the real estate industry just about as soon as I got in, and I attribute a lot of the success I've been able to have with the hours that I have put in for being a coachee and being the one that was coached um, by many different coaches throughout my career. So thank you so much for having me today, Lucas. Glad to have you on. So tell me, um, what, would you, what advice would you have for a new agent looking to grow their business? Uh, how dare you go there because you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely um, get a coach. Get a coach the minute you get into this industry. And the reason I say that is because you can't read the label from inside the bottle. And that's exactly what a coach does. It's really um, having that person that can really look into your blind spot. It's like having that mirror that reveals the areas that you may not know exists in your life that might be holding you back from achieving your greatest level of potential. And really, that's what a coach does. They, they kind of shine a light on those limiting beliefs that you might have, things that you may not even realize because it might be programmed into you that's holding you back from achieving the things you desire for yourself and your family. So my advice is definitely, definitely get a coach or at least a mentor. There's a difference between the two um, so that you can really start achieving things that you may not have even believed is possible for yourself. So get a coach, get a coach, get a coach. Uh, what are some of the things that hold back your agents? You know, I don't think that it's mindset. Um, the reason I say it's mindset is because um, when you look at success in itself, 90% of success comes from your mindset. The things that happen between your two ears, 10% is skill. So if they don't believe that it's possible that they can achieve certain things, if they don't believe they can go out and take a listing in a neighborhood that might be above a price point that they have never sold in or lived in before, then you're not gonna take a listing in that neighborhood. So is it really the skill that it takes to take that listing or is it you telling yourself that you can't do it? So um, I truly believe that it's mindset. So the faster you're able to develop a strong mindset and you know develop positive affirmations, the things that you tell yourself on a daily basis, then you're gonna get ahead a lot faster. Can we get a sample of that? Give me a positive affirmation. That Ooh, I can do okay, I'm um, the affirmation queen. I'll tell you what was one of my favorite that I used to um, do when I was actively selling was, um, I'm a listing magnet. I attract listings daily. Or another one that I would do is I enjoy selling a hundred homes every year. And yes, I have sold over a hundred homes in one year, right? But that came from the affirmation that I told myself. And the thing about an affirmation, it has to be present tense, it has to be positive, and it has to be meaningful and personal. So the three Ps, right? Positive, present tense, and personal. So make sure when you sit down and you write those affirmations, not that. I would like to sell a hundred homes, right? That's in the future. That's not present tense, but I enjoy selling a hundred homes a year. That's present and that's in the moment and that's believing it. Um, and it's, you know, the common saying, fake it until you make it. You have to believe that you could sell a hundred homes. You have to believe it in every fiber of your being. And I'm not saying that you have to sell a hundred homes. Don't get me wrong. Um, what I'm saying is whatever that is for you, whatever the goal is for you, you have to own it as though it's happening now. I mean, how would an agent go about um, finding a coach? That's a great question. And um, you have to remember that we're the average of the top five people we surround ourselves with. So um, I would say definitely surround yourself with people that when you're in their, their presence, it makes you feel like you want to be better. You want to accomplish greater things and you feel more powerful in their presence. Go to your local manager or broker and see who they recommend. There's many of coaching companies out there. The biggest thing you have to remember, most times coaching is an investment in yourself. So don't be scared to take that investment. 
Um, you have to be coachable before you enter into a coaching relationship. That's really, really important. And the way you know that you found a good coach is when you feel that you are accomplishing things that um, maybe before was really, really um, maybe a challenge for you, or you're stepping into some uncharted territory and you're feeling really comfortable about doing it, or they're pushing you. If a coach is not pushing you, it's probably time to get a new one or to look for a different opportunity. They're holding you accountable. They're not letting you off the hook. If you said you were going to call 20 people today and they're making sure that you didn't call 19 and saying, you know what, Lucas, 19 is good. No, they're asking you powerful question that makes you think, you know, like, Lucas, what could you have done differently to, to make sure that you hit 20 calls today? So um, that's when you know you have a good coach, when they're challenging you, when they're pushing you, when you leave a conversation and you feel empowered to go on and take on the next challenge. That's when you know you found a good coach. There's plenty of companies out there. Do your research and don't be scared about making the investment in yourself because if anything else, you should be really, really excited about investing in you because you know your potential. So go ahead and get a coach. I know it will change your business and it will change your life. Well, I feel inspired. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amina, for joining us today. You're most welcome, Lucas. I enjoy always talking about this topic. Well, there you have it, folks. Get a coach. This has been Views from the Bridge. If you have any questions, uh, you can email us at uh, ghar at com subject line, views from the bridge. Thank you.